the bright man Where's your Christmas spirit? I would like Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas. I forgot which day it is. Today is going to be a speed reviews video on all the skincare products that I'm currently using. It is catered towards the winter months where it's a little bit more drier, so I need a little bit more nourishment and hydration than I would in the summer or spring. I wanted to quickly give you guys my thoughts on all these products that I've been using for the past couple months now. I do have a good general sense of if I like the products or not, if I think they're working. So let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do so, if you're new here, hello, my name is Amy and I hope you're doing well. I make a lot of fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and vlog content here on my channel. So I would love for you to subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my day to day because I do post there a lot more frequently. Per usual, I will let you guys know what I'm wearing on my face today. I actually kept the makeup to a minimum because I am going through some skin issues currently. I'm getting some eczema on my eyelids, so that's why I have it a little bit more bare than I usually like to have it on camera. So I just have a little bit of darker eyeshadow along my lash line because that's the only place that is not kind of flaring up at the moment. It's so funny because today I'm filming a skincare video and perfect timing, my skin decides to just flare up into my dermatitis eczema situation. So ignore that. My flare-ups have nothing to do with any of these products. So just FYI, don't judge the products based on like my skin condition. Eczema and dermatitis is a bitch and it just has a mind of its own. On my lips today, I have the Melt Cosmetics Ultra Matte Lipstick in Pink Heels. And look how tiny this bullet of lipstick is. I got this in a Sephora like samples when I was ordering something else online. It's a pretty good size I feel like for a sample, but I love the color. I think I might actually buy the full size because I do really love this color so much. It's on my lips right now. It doesn't look that matte because I put it over my Merit lip oil, which usually makes the texture of whatever I put on top a little bit more creamier. On my eyes, like I said, I am using just like two shadows from my Persona Identity One palette. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the products. The first category is going to be face cleanser and I have a few products to share with you guys. I have three like actual cleansing products and then one tool. The tool, let's get that out of the way. I used to use my Foreo every single day. This is, I hope I'm saying that right. Is it Foreo or Foreo? I think it's Foreo. <laughs> like Oreo, you know? I've been using this for quite a long time. I used to use it every day, like I said, but I feel like because my skin is extra reactive during the winter months, especially with my dermatitis and eczema situation, I have seized using this for I think like the last two weeks because I just didn't want to have that extra exfoliation going on. However, when I used to use this, I loved it because it made my skin feel so soft and smooth. It does gently exfoliate the skin without having to use like an extra exfoliator. It does really get down deep into the pores and just cleans everything out. And that's what I love, I love about the Foreo. Right now, my skin is so ultra sensitive. I don't think I should go back to this just yet. I think once everything goes back to normal for me, I will be using this like maybe every other day. I would highly recommend investing in a Foreo because I love it so much more than any other tool that I've tried using. I have an oil cleanser and the one that I'm using right now, this is for my double cleanse routine. So I will use this to take off my makeup first before I actually go in with a uh, with another cleanser. This one is the DHC facial cleanser. It's called Deep Cleansing Oil. And I just have like the mini size right now, but I have used this in the past and have always loved it. It takes off my makeup like a dream. It also doesn't leave a weird film or residue 
when you rinse off because that is such a big pet peeve of mine in terms of cleansing oils. Like I do not like the feeling of ickiness left on my skin whenever I use a cleansing oil and this doesn't do that. So I highly recommend this. It's very like a soft oil. You massage it onto your face to just dissolve all the makeup and then you rinse it off and it turns into kind of this milky texture and comes right off. So I really, really like this. I have gone back to this a couple of times when I don't know what else to use or to buy. And this is the one that I'm using right now. Next two products are actual cleansers. So after I use the cleansing oil, at nighttime, I will usually wear, use this, not wear, use the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Foaming Oil Cleanser. So this says that it's an oil cleanser, but I wouldn't use this to take off your makeup. I will use this as the second step in the double cleanse technique. I really like this because it lathers up really well and Skin Fix really targets those who have eczema and really severely dry skin and that's reactive and sensitive. So I really like the brand Skin Fix because I feel like they tailor their products to more of a sensitive skin type people. I really enjoy this. This has never broken me out or made my skin feel squeaky like dry. I use this almost every single night and it's just a really lovely texture. So I highly recommend this one. The other cleanser that I use, usually in the mornings, I use this Derma Doctor Calm cool and corrected tranquility cleanser for seboric dermatitis and dandruff. So this is interesting because it's basically a dandruff shampoo, but if you suffer from seboric, sabor, sab, sab, I don't know how to say that word, seboric dermatitis, this has zinc, uh, pyrethione zinc. That ingredient is supposed to help with like the flakiness of your scalp and dandruff, but it also helps with dermatitis. So I use this almost every single morning, but it does tend to dry out my skin just a tad bit. So I just try to be extra diligent about moisturizing right afterwards, which I usually always do anyway. This has 2% pyrethione zinc, and that's just like a magic ingredient for dandruff and flaky skin and irritated skin. However, However, this is a more expensive version of just a dandruff shampoo. If you want it to, you can literally just use like head and shoulders, which has pyrethione zinc, if I'm not mistaken. And you can use that as your facial cleanser. I've learned that from a dermatologist that I watch on YouTube. I think her name is Dr. Dre or Dr. Gray, I forgot. This is the more expensive bougie version of head and shoulder shampoo. So just keep that in mind, but this is like better packaging and just a better user experience overall. So I tend to just buy this and it comes with a ton of product. That's 7.10 fluent ounces. I will run out of this maybe in like two years. <laughs> so I really like this. You only need just like a tiny bit. The next category is actually going to be toners. I have the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. And this is alcohol free, safe for sensitive skin. I have been really enjoying this. I've been using this for about three weeks. I think my skin really likes this so far. It doesn't make like a huge difference, but I have noticed like more brightening effects with this and it does calm my skin when my skin is just being very irritated. <laughs> I love anything with oats in it and I think they killed it with this formula. This also has honey, propolis extract and hyaluronic acid which are all really good for hydrating the skin and I think this really does help protect the barrier of my skin so that it's a little bit less volatile in this dry, harsh weather and environment, I guess. This is the Cosrx BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. And I only use this when I feel like my skin needs some exfoliation, not when my skin is irritated because I don't want to use BHAs when my skin is just freaking out because this will just make it freak out even more. This really helps gently remove dead skin cells. It helps exfoliate. So I do like to use this when my skin is behaving really well, but it just looks a little bit lackluster and dull. I think they claim to just make your pores look a little bit smaller. I don't have a big issue with my pores being super visible. I have a ton of other skincare issues, but pore size isn't one of them. So I haven't really witnessed that myself, but I do think that this really helps if you have oily skin, it does balance that out and with exfoliation. The next category is serums and treatments. I have four to show, oh no, I have three serums that I'm using currently. 
seems like a lot, but I use one in the morning, one at night, and then just like rotate them. They have different purposes, so I like to keep all of these three in my skincare routine. The first one is, I think, the most gentle one. This is the Face Theory Lum Lumizilla, Lumizilla? A10 serum. Basically what this is, is 10% um, azelaic acid. It also has colloidal oat, which I really like in skincare, aloe vera, and green tea. Azelaic acid, my skin, of, is obsessed with. My skin will react so, so well to azelaic acid. I used to break out so much, like I had so much acne on my forehead and I swear azelaic acid is the reason why it got cleared up. I used to use Curology. I actually recently stopped using Curology because my formula changed. It didn't work as well as the previous formula and I just thought that I would stop because the previous formula had azelaic like acid, like a higher percentage of it. Like I think it was like 12% or something or 10%. So I just decided to stop Curology and find an alternative product that has azelaic acid. I found this and it does the same thing. I, I am so glad that I found this. I did a lot of research because there's not a lot of azelaic acid serums on the market these days for some reason, but they are such a miracle product to me. I love it. It's the best thing that's happened to me for my skin. It cleared up my acne, like I said. It helps with acne scars as well, helps brighten the skin. This product is so good. I will always have an azelaic serum of some sort in my skincare routine at all times. And I really like to use this almost daily. I use this almost every single day. Well, I use it at nighttime. So I use it right before I go to sleep. Twice a week, I will use, instead of the azelaic serum, I will use Adapalene gel. And this one is a 0.1% acne treatment by La Roche-Posay. It's in this funky little tube. It looks like a toothpaste. And it's called the Effaclear. It's just ad Adapalene. Adapalene is a very commonly over-the-counter acne medication or acne topical treatment. This is in a gel formula and I only use this on my forehead twice a week because I have tried retinol before, like tretinoin that you get in a prescription from your dermatologist and it was just too harsh for me. My skin could not get used to it at all. It just rejected it. I've tried to use it for two months and for those entire two months, my skin was freaking out like every day. And it was a very, very low percentage of tretinoin as well, but it just my skin could not get acclimated to it. So I actually decided to use Adapalene instead. There's not as much anti-aging evidence of Adapalene versus Tretinoin, but there are some studies that say that can infer that they do have same anti-aging properties as tretinoin. So I started using this just on my forehead twice a week because I don't want my skin to freak out either. And I think I'm going to keep it at twice a week just on my forehead and maybe like on my cheeks where it's not as like dermatitis prone. It's been working really well for me. My skin on my forehead where I'm using this has not freaked out at all. It hasn't broken out severely or anything like that. Knock on wood. <laughs> I think it really does help keep acne at bay in conjunction with my face theory azelaic acid serum. So these two are like my prized possessions when it comes to serums. My other like daytime serum that I'm using right now is also by La Roche-Posay. I love La Roche-Posay. You guys will see in this lineup, I have a lot of their products. This is their vitamin C serum. I use vitamin C serums only in the morning and then I put SPF on top because the two is like a magical combination apparently. This one is anti-wrinkling and it's pure vitamin C, 10%. It also has a little bit of salicylic acid to help with vitamin C absorption into the skin. Vitamin C is a very volatile chemical or whatever, you know, ingredient in skincare, it's really hard for it to penetrate through your skin to get the benefits out of it. So salicylic acid is supposed to help with that. I don't know if it actually works, but I love this serum. This serum, I love the texture of, and the scent is really, really nice. I actually don't know if this is scent free. I don't think so. So if you're allergic or sensitive to, sorry, there's a trash, car outside trash truck. Okay, I think it stopped. 
we're good. This has such a lovely texture. I feel like a lot of other vitamin C serums that I've tried, they're so sticky and I cannot stand it. On my face, it just feels so sticky and gross and tacky and it doesn't absorb fully. This one is like the complete opposite. It makes your skin feel so smooth. I love the texture of this product alone. You know, vitamin C, those types of ingredients take a long time to see benefits. I can't tell you exactly if it's making a difference or not, but it does make my skin really soft and smooth. So I do really like this. I will continue using it. I recommend it. La Roche-Posay makes some really amazing products and I love their treatments. So this one is definitely a keeper for me. <laughs> the eye cream that I'm using right now is also by La Roche-Posay and it's the Tolerain Ultra Eyes Eye Cream. And it has a little pump. It's airtight, like air and bacteria can't go into this container, which is really nice. I think most of La Roche-Posay products are kind of in this very secure packaging, which is an extra plus. This eye cream, I would say, is not that thick. If you're looking for something very heavy duty and thick and creamy, this is not going to be it for you. This is almost like a gel lotion hybrid. It's not like a thick cream. I like this because it doesn't make my under eyes feel super tacky, like I said, which I don't like. This does provide really good hydration, but it might not be nourishing enough for some people who have severely dry you know, under eye areas. So far, I do really like this. I think it is really great under makeup because it's very much like undetectable under the skin. It absorbs really fast, but it still makes my skin around that area very hydrated. So I like it so far. Moving on to face moisturizers, and I have two to show you, but it's basically one because it's like the same brand and the same moisturizer, one with SPF and one without. I use the the La Roche-Posay Tolerain line, and this is the Double Repair Face Moisturizer UV. This has SPF of 30, and I use the same thing, the Double Repair Face Moisturizer, just without the SPF for nighttime. These have ceramides in it, as well as niacinamide, which are amazing. It's like very hydrating and nourishing ingredients for your skin. Niacinamide has so many benefits. I can't even name all of them. You can like look it up on Google, but they are amazing. It makes my skin feel so just like bouncy and supple. I really, really love these products. The only thing about these is that I think these products make my skin like pill a little bit. You know what I'm saying, right? Like when you're using makeup on top or something, it's not the best under makeup. It does pill if you rub too much. I would say that that is the only con that I have with this. So if I can find something exactly like this, but that doesn't pill on my skin, I would be over the moon for it. Right now I am trying to use these up and I really, really like it. It's so, so hydrating. Such a rich texture. I really like the formula. It's just that it pills and you know, sometimes that can get really annoying. So I'm gonna try to find something similar to this next that doesn't pill, but I highly recommend it regardless. I have made it work so that it doesn't pill as much. You gotta just be careful like how much you use, make sure that you're not like rubbing your foundation in too much so that it's like starts pilling. So there are ways around it. It's just not that convenient. So there's that. <laughs> That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to stick around, and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye! <laughs>